everyone. So I am going home. I just left um, Panera and TJ Maxx. Okay, so from Panera, I've said this before and I get the same thing all the time. I get salads every once in a while when I'm really in the mood for a salad. And I mean, they have amazing salads. So, you know. Um, I got my BLT avocado sandwich and I got my cheddar and broccoli soup and then I got my um, raspberry tea. I normally get like this mango one. It's like a thick consistency, kind of like a milkshake, but it's not. It's thicker than a milkshake with like these little balls at the bottom, like little black balls. I don't know what it's called, but I know like, I don't know what it's called now, but when I see the name, I'm like, oh, that. That's what I normally get. I'll get the raspberry tea or that back and forth. Um, also, I went to TJ Maxx and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up when I get home. Um, I was talking to one of the managers because she's super cool and I've known her like ever. I don't know her personally like on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but I do know her. Um, I do know her because I go there so much and she's the one that's always in the front and you know she's so sweet and nice and stuff so I was talking to her because I seen a bunch like okay the clearance section of the beauty thing lately that's where I go because I've been finding so many awesome things you know and um, they didn't really have a lot and I was like damn I came last week and they had like a lot of clearance like well it's because people have been buying it and whatever doesn't sell um, they donate it you know so they're going through their like the their brand new stuff and they are marking them down and you guys uh, I wish I could sit there and just wait like that sounds stupid but I wish I wish I could sit there and just wait for them to like just start putting it out because there's gonna be so much stuff like I am gonna have a good haul I hope I hope and I pray I do um, we're gonna I, I, I should because they were doing face mask they were doing facial stuff um, they were doing makeup wipes um, they were doing nail polishes, um, lipsticks, um, body washes from like a bliss. They were doing so many awesome things. Like I was just like, <sighs> the lady was like, you should just stay and just wait. And I was like, no, because you know, I have stuff to do. So I really don't want to wait, you know, I'll just come back tomorrow or whatever. If it's not meant for me, it's not meant for me, but I hope it is because it, you guys know, plus the dealio so um, I spent like $15 on some of the stuff that I picked up um, you guys know the basic face mask I only would pay a dollar or a dollar fifty for them um, I will not pay higher than that because I feel like it's a freaking ripoff um, that's just me because that's when I get them on clearance like for a dollar fifty or for a dollar I am not paying any more than that. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I'm not paying full price. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I picked up like, they're all from the Alba Botanica line, from the Alba Botanica line. And you guys know how I feel about that line. I really, 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 really love them. I love all of their stuff so far. Also, I tried on these Wet n Wild. Um, I tried the Wet n Wild makeup remover wipes from the Dollar Tree. I did not like them. Like I, any that I had in my personal like makeup stash, I gave them to Destiny, and I was like, "You can have these." She was like, "Why?" And I said, "They." They felt so sticky on my face and I just couldn't. 
it, they felt so sticky, so sticky. Like I went like this to my face and it was so sticky that I didn't really, um, I just didn't like, I just didn't like the feeling of it. It just, it was disgusting. Um, also, I tried this, um, it's cacao and shea butter face mask from the Dollar Tree and it's like the Global Beauty Care and it's like a goldish brownish looking packaging. Listen, it was very moisturizing like it was very goopy. It had a lot of product. The smell was Mm, okay um the mask itself was shaped so freaking weirdly that I was just like I couldn't I had to grab little baby scissors and cut like where my mouth was and then by my eyes like it, it, it was just so weird that I do not even know. I do not even know what, like, what they thought with that mask. Um, it took a while for it to dry, like for my skin to soak it in. It took a while. I don't, I do not know why. I mean, it was a lot of product that I was like able to put the remainder of the product like when I took out I took it out I put it on my face and then I noticed that it was so like discombobulated I cut it I cut it and um I cut it and um I cut it and then whatever was on my hand there was extra product on my hand so I you know I grabbed it and I rubbed it all over my neck and stuff and I was like okay that's good so after I took the mask off it was like 15 minutes after I took the mask off it was like it felt like I still had the mask on my face it was so sticky and it felt good but I'm used to like a face mask that you just pat down the access and you just pat it down gently into your skin rub it around your neck you know what I'm saying um other parts that you're you know that you didn't put the mask at and I did that and I chilled out for a little bit like 30 minutes after I did all the rubbing like the patting down and it, there was still so much product on my face and I didn't have a problem with it normally I do face mask right before I go to bed so the serum can sink into my skin a little bit deeper and um, I did wake up a little bit more nourished like my skin looked a little bit better but beside that I did not like the fact that the it was so it had too much product it had too 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 much for its own good um, the shape of the mask and the smell that was it so the last one that I have I'm gonna end up using it up because I paid for it I hope their wipes are not bad because I all that same day that I purchased the makeup um, the face mask I also purchased the um, makeup wipes or cleansing wipes and it's like a 50 pack or something like that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, hopefully that is good. Um, so, oh, also, also on face mask, makeup wipes. I told you guys that I purchased like a while back, like a bunch of the um, Say Yes to Blueberry facial facial wipes or whatever makeup remover wipes whatever okay so I my motto is with anything like beauty related or food whatever is old when I mean old is like if I already had it like you know for a box of cereal if you just bought that box of cereal two weeks ago and you just bought a brand new box 
which is the box that you should eat? Well, the one that you just bought two weeks ago because you don't want it to go bad and stale, right? So, with the Say Yes to Blueberry, I was like, oh, I like blueberry. Like, I love the, the smell of blueberry. Not, I don't really love it. I like it. It's nice. It smells good. Whatever. I tried it on. It burned my face. I do not know why. It burned my skin. Skin. Like I had to stand in front of the AC and I was like <sighs> Like it was burning and it wasn't like you guys can see my skin. I have no pimples I have no breakage like my skin is fine like, There's no one can tell me my skin is bad because it's not like I am already home <laughs> But look my skin is fine. I don't have any pimples. I don't have any breakages. I don't have anything horrible for someone to say, oh, that's the reason why, you know, that, that product reacted totally different to your skin. No, I don't believe you. That's straight up BS. So say yes to blueberry is a no-no for me. Um, I am using Say Yes to Carrots Daily Facial Moisturizer. Um, like right after I cleanse my face, I use my toner and then I use um, the Say Yes to Carrots. And then after that, I let the Say Yes to Carrot moisturizer sink in a little bit. And then I go over it with my Say Yes to Pomegranate Dark Circle um, Cream eye cream and that seems to work. Like I said, there's days that I totally forget. Um, I am going to be working a second job. Um, it's only going to be a part-time working in a school, f in the same school that my girls go to, um, as a sub teacher, um, for pre-K. Um, hopefully the principal can get all that situated stuff out so I won't interfere with my second job. Um, at my second job I will stay a little bit later and I will start at, you know, 12 over there. So, or start at one over there, matter of fact, because if I'm from nine to 12, that's fine. Um, so I'm home already. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Again, my total was like $15 and some change. Now, okay, I need recommendations on body scrubs. I've already tried the Treat Hut body scrubs. They are amazing, but... I am currently finishing a Soap and Glory body scrub. It's called like the breakfast one. It is super amazing. It has like oatmeal and maple, like all these yummy, ugh, deli uh, delicious stuff in it. <laughs> like Delia says it. Um, and I have a Bliss body, body scrub as well that I'm going to put in my rotation as soon as the soap and glory one is run is like out um and then after that scrub I have after the soap and glory after the bliss scrub that is like um mint and sage after that one I have no other scrubs so if you have any recommendations of different body scrubs that I can use let me know in the comments below because I am totally taking recommendations and looking for them okay so again I told you guys that I really do like the Alba Botanic um I say Alba Botanic but it's not supposed to be like that but I'm Spanish so I would say Alba Botanica because that's how you would say it so this one is the evening tone and grapefruit. This was a dollar fifty, and then the brown ones were all a um, dollar. And you could tell that they were remarked down. These are the coconut water hydrating, and they're hypoallergenic. And these are um, Alba Botanica is a brand that does not test on animals and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, like no art of it's all 100% vegan ingredients, no testing on animals, no artificial colors, preservatives, dyes, all that stuff, all that fun stuff. So I picked up three of those and then just the grapefruit one. And then I picked up two of these Bliss Pomegranate Plus Aloe Body Butters. And this one is lemon plus sage body butter. So these were $3.50. And last time I went, they were like, 
how much were they last time? Um, like six dollars, and they all had the little seal, so you guys know how I feel about that. Um, you guys know how I feel about the seals. If if they has the seals and it's, it's on clearance, I'm getting it. I'm totally into this Bliss brand. There's a ton of people like hauling these, and they're going, they're everywhere. Now that I've purchased it once at Home Goods, now they're everywhere. I see them everywhere. Okay, this is a new brand, and Kirill's Kiehl's. Heroes. I don't know. I'm saying it wrong, but if you know this name or seen this product, whatever, let me know. This is a shower gel. Gel dough. It says a shower gel, shower dough, vanilla cinnamon, and this was three dollars and fifty cents on clearance. And last time I saw this, like last week, they were ten dollars. And it smells amazing. I don't really get the hint of vanilla that much. I get more of a cinnamony scent. It smells like straight up pumpkin, bro. F the freaking vanilla. It smells like straight up freaking pumpkin. This is the brand. So, I don't know, guys. I, I really... See, it says creamy vanilla with a warm woodsy polish <laughs> see I don't know it's cinnamon vanilla cinnamon the people from my trash are coming but um this is a 13.53 full ounces and I don't know I don't know. I'm totally psyched to try this. And this is a shower gel. And body scrubs are two different things. The body scrubs I use for my feet only. So that is all I picked up. I didn't pick up anything else. What is this? It says body and body butter hair. But oh, okay. Okay. So I guess these are all like considered. Um, I guess these are all considered like body and body, bath, body, and hair products. And these are just like treating colors. I don't know. But <laughs> that's all I picked up. So stay tuned for more CJ Maxx hauls because most likely I'm going to go back tomorrow. Hopefully I will. Or on the weekend. So if I don't go tomorrow, I'll go on the weekend. And I also want to go to Marshall's by Target. Um, so fingers crossed we could do that. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.